I hate it. I don't like Orlando. It's not safe for me. You know, I feel more safe up there in New York, and New York's bad. It is just the latest in a long string of shootings near downtown Orlando bars. Thanks for joining us. I'm Lisa Bell. Yeah, glad you're with us tonight. I'm Matt Austin. Two people shot just this past Sunday. It happened outside of Celine nightclub on Court Avenue. One of the victims is an employee of the club. He spoke to News 6's Troy Campbell tonight. The shooting victim says he was working the front door here at Celine late Sunday night. He says several off duty officers were just feet away when bullets went flying, hitting him and another person, sending them both to the hospital. The bullet went in my head, came out of my head. I dropped to the ground on my back, so my back's pretty messed up. Um, and all I can see is just black. Walid Atiyah says on Sunday, he was working a double shift to make extra money for his growing family when a dispute between two men resulted in one of the men firing a gun. I, I, I felt like water coming down my face and I touched my head and I was drenched in blood. And I, I got up, I looked at my buddy to the left of me and all my blood was all over him. Atiyah was rushed to the hospital. He says a doctor told him he was nearly killed. From then, you know, he told me you're gonna be okay. You're lucky to be alive. You missed by just a millimeter. Um, so then I just started crying and I just knew that it wasn't my time. Orlando police say 32 year old Wilner Durand was arrested for shooting two people along Pine Street early Monday morning. Law enforcement says there was a full officer detail downtown when the shooting occurred. OPD has recently increased law enforcement's presence downtown following several shootings, including seven people shot in July after an unknown gunman opened fire on Orange Avenue. Atia says more needs to be done. Especially with three off-duty cops standing right in front. They, they, didn't, they couldn't do their job. I don't understand. You know, and I know stuff happens in an instant. You know, and, and, and a lot of people are, don't know really what to do. But you're a cop. You're trained for this. Atia says when he was in the hospital, he was able to speak with the other shooting victim, saying they expressed to each other how thankful they were to survive. I also did ask the chief of police to speak with him about this incident. He says he will provide us with the detective on the case. We will let you know if and when that happens. In downtown Orlando, Troy Campbell getting results News 6. Now, so far this year, 12 people have been shot downtown at or near bars. On March 30th, a stray bullet hit a woman sitting on a bar's patio. In May, two people were shot, one on Church Street, the other at the Be Nice Bar on Roslyn. In July, you'll remember seven people were shot after a large fight broke out on Orange Avenue and Wall Street. That shooter was never arrested. Then the two people shot on Sunday on Court Avenue. Now you can find our coverage on all of those shootings right now at clickorlando.com. Just search the word downtown.